All right, today we're going to go over Belimo actuators. Right now we have the LF24 MFT, which is a 2 to 10 volt DC signal with the feedback on there. And as you can see, we have the black wire down here, which is your common. We have the red, which is your plus, which is your 24 volts AC or DC to power up the actuator. And then we have the white wire, which is labeled number three with your actual signal that will actually control the actuator to go from your 2 to 10 volt DC signal. Right next to that, we have the another white wire, number five, which is your feedback, which is your 2 to 10 volt DC going back to the UC600 to tell you what position the actuator is actually in. Over here, we have the clockwise and counterclockwise, if necessary, if you need to use change the direction of it. And then we're going to go up to the actual UC600 here. So on the UC600, we have the 24 volts AC out. So this is going to power up our actuator right here with this red wire. And it's going to be at the 24 volts AC right here. And then below, we have our black wire, which is common. These are all tied together. So just remember that. So that's why we have this here. And then we have the 2 to 10 volt DC signal that is actually going to control the actuator landed right here on AO1. These could be used as universal inputs or AOs. So this could be an analog input. It could be a binary input or it can be an analog output. This takes an analog output to actually control this and that's why we're going to set it up in Tracer TU as an AO1 here. For the feedback, it's only one wire that goes up here and we want to put that on a universal input. So here we have it on UI3 and we just have it on the actual signal here, not the ground but right next to it to the signal. And this will actually tell us when we configure it properly in TU what position the actual valve is as a feedback here. There you go.